What about cigarettes? When you smoke cigarettes, do you squat down as low as you can or do you smoke standing up? <laughs> I just, just give me a second. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna go past that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm gonna pretend that never happened. I'm gonna go past. I'm gonna go past it. <laughs> okay, like a detour. Okay, I mean, so um, yeah, Jamon. Yeah, Jamon to you. Yeah. Um. Um. Okay. What do you mean? Because a lot of Asian people, what they like to do is they like to hu squat down as much as they can. It's, it's funny. Well, with what, their what, as close to the floor as possible. Okay, and then can they light can up I ask you a question then? Yes, guy. Right. Yeah. Could it be that there's no chairs around? Whatever the reason is, it's just something that they do. If there's no chairs around your place, yeah. would you squat down. No. What would you do? Just stand. Yeah. I would do I would do calf raises. I have Viking blood. Oh, so you would stand. How about what, to eat? Still stand. I always I always stand and eat. Okay. Why? It's something digestion. What I do. Yeah. A digestion. I like to stand up and eat. Okay. Yeah. I like. To, and then we do that. That's what it is. Yeah. It, so that yeah, yeah. that to me, if I was if somebody if 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 somebody said Chris, I want you to draw an Asian person. That's what I exactly what I draw. Right. I would. Draw I the, wonder why that is. I've never really thought about it's it. It's only the Asian culture because a lot of cultures smoke cigarettes, but not only the Asians will squat down with their asshole hovering. No more than an inch well, off the floor. Look, as you can tell, we read that way too. But it's a beautiful thing. You have hip yeah, yeah. flexibility, Bobby, yeah. is directly related to longevity of life. So the more flexible your hips are, which this man has got very flexible hips, the longer he'll live. Yeah. So you do have good hip flexibility. Is that a true thing? Mm -hmm. Flip, wait, hip, flip hip no, flexibility. Oh, wait, hip, oh, wait, sorry. Hip flexibility. I, <laughs> I mixed up the two. Hip flexibility. It's yes. Equates to longevity of longevity life. Longevity of life because flexibility overall, they think that the actual like key to longevity now is uh. flexibility is the biggest thing. That 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 actually is one of the root causes of health problems is how stiff you are. Are you flexible? No, not as flexible as I can be, but I've been trying to do hot yoga. I've been trying to um, stretch every day. I've been trying to do uh, core work. Yeah. I've been uh, listening to um, uh, Andrew Huberman. Mm -hmm. I've been listening to... Uh, is he a good guy? No. Oh. I don't know him. Oh, you know him? I just listen to his stuff. But you know a lot of people. Not as much as I... As Let me ask so. you something. I don't know how. much as I I'm, I'm a little bit disconnected. I'm not as plugged in as you. That's not true. Um, no, it's true. If you're doing a gig, mm -hmm. have there been like famous people that come to your, can't give your gig? I don't get that. Not no. one time. Unfortunately, no. Not one time a famous person. Not very... I mean, unless I knew them before. Of course that. I mean, no one, like, I mean, like I'm not going to be on the road and all of a sudden, like, John Mul Cougar Mellencamp is going to go, hey, are you in Indiana? <laughs> I, know, I, I know I don't know you, but come eat, a, you know what I mean, a pork sandwich. No, unfortunately, I don't have any. I don't. Yeah, because in Indiana, right, pork sa pork sandwiches are huge, right? What, what do they call them? The tenderloin, pork tenderloin sandwiches. So that when you laugh like that, dude, that that's mockery of my own thoughts. And I want you to stop that. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. Okay. You almost killed us four years ago. Yes. All right. And I have not forgotten about that. Yeah. All right. Murder, dude. Attempted murder. Legit. Legit. Yeah. So um, uh, interesting to me. But I never get, no, I never get any famous people that come, unfortunately. You, uh, uh, there's got to be one no. time where like someone that anybody, how about Nobody. comics, fam famous comics? No, not really. I never get like the people who, oh, it's just so and so wants to come back to the green room and say hello. It's never happened to me once. N really? No. Unfortunately, something's not connecting with my comedy. <laughs> no, I don't think that's what it is. No, no, it is. It is. I, no, I think no, you're, no, so, no, you're so aloof. You have no idea what the fuck is going on. No, Bobby, I'm telling is. you, I'm telling you, yeah, something's yeah. not connecting. I don't know what it is. I don't think I'm not funny, but something, the general public is, is looking at me and just saying no overall. No, that's, oh my God. That's, I'm telling you, it's true. No, try to look at the numbers. When we were in Vegas. Look at my YouTube numbers. When we were in Vegas. Look at the numbers. That's not the numbers. We were in Vegas, right? You were the one that goes, hey, let's go sit next to Jimmy Kimmel. Okay, Jimmy. I don't know Jimmy Kimmel, but he didn't. He doesn't come to my shows. I know, but you know him. Yeah. All right. What are the celebrities you know then? J Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> Chaz Palminteri. Oh, you see, I don't know Chaz Palminteri. Yeah. Are you you've hung out with him. Yes. Chaz he, Palminteri, I know. He's a huge star. Yeah. He's a big time Legend. star. Legend. Legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is when I was going through my glasses phase. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hate that guy. Really good. My I, myself, I'm talking about. I hate that guy yeah. with the glasses. Who else do you know? Bad. Um. I know, uh, um, uh, now what's, when, when I ask no, not really anybody. Okay. When I ask no, what is no? Like for instance, um, someone that you've met before, or is it somebody that's in your life? That's the confusing part. Cause I've met a lot of people, but for me to say that I know them 
is a different thing, right? Yeah, like they, the only people that I know, Chaz Palminteri. I know no, you, you've you've talked. We yeah. go to each other's houses. Like Chaz Palminteri was almost my little daughter's godfather. Oh, what, what so happened? I, he got I, beat out. Yeah, <laughs> who, who beat him out? We had to be. Um, uh, uh, well, who beat him out initially was um, Jasmine's uncle, uh, Jerry T.T. Jerry. Okay, okay. That's that's who beat him out. Was Chaz? Uh, but and it was upset good. about it. Well, no, because what we decided was because he's trans, so T.T. Jerry was actually the godfather oh, and the him. godmother. At the same oh, time. Oh, the we just, we, double combo. Yeah, we just did it once. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You can get a double combo. That's good. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So he's the godfather and the godmother. Wow, that's But amazing. Chaz, so, so, um, but Chaz is the only guy that he, he's, I know, and he's old school. He's old school. But he lives in your area? No, he lives about an hour away. Okay. But we see him on the weekends. We go pumpkin picking with his family. Oh, oh so it's a close thing. Oh, yeah. My girl and his wife are like very close. They talk all the time. Whoa. Yeah. Um, is Chaz, he's working a lot still, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old school work. Yeah, he's he's old school Hollywood. Yeah, they, he's they, one of the best. They just, he doesn't have to like call, he doesn't have a PR person. He just walks up to like a nightclub. Unusual club. Suspects, one of my favorite movies. The, 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 the bouncers. Chaz Palminteri is known by, almost every black person knows Chaz Palminteri and they love him. He's their favorite. Amongst black people, Chaz Palminteri is up there with their favorite white. Wow. He might be their favorite white person is Chaz. With the blacks. Because Bronx Tale. Yeah, he's like 20th on the Asians. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, yeah. so he's a little, really low. Yeah, the and he would be even lower if you if we. Dad, get... you know Charles Palminteri. <laughs> uh, they're not even close. Yeah, Chaz Palminteri. Yeah, right. He wouldn't and know. And you're like, what? Are you, are you even listening? I'm listening to you. Yeah, right. So he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Yeah, yeah. And you would. In say... fact, my dad couldn't say a lot of things. No, you know well, uh, anything, Samuel yeah. L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's Samuel that. Joman. Yes, yeah, Joman. I know Joman. <laughs> My people, you know, but he doesn't know much. He doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me another. What's a harder one? Uh, 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 Benicio del Toro. Oh, forget about it. Yeah, yeah. Dad, you know Benicio del Toro. Balo lo como Toro. Right? No, not even close. He wouldn't know. My dad wouldn't even know. Like, you know, I go name me one Beatles song. He doesn't even know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> he no that's a, he's out. He's out of culture. Like, there's nothing. Yeah. Have you seen a movie? I never see a movie. He's, he doesn't know what any, Wizard of Oz doesn't know what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? If I explain it to him, oh, I don't like. <laughs> there's a wizard a lot. I don't like a lion. I don't like a tin tin. Like a tin man. I don't care. You know what I mean? He doesn't know. So, what would he watch then? What did nothing. he like? That's the thing. Fucking nothing. In fact, when he, two weeks before he died, right? This is a sad story. I, I think I've said this story before, but but I never. But it's a different experience with me. You never go down the same river twice. What? <laughs> so I'm saying, even if you tell the story again, it's a different day, different audience, different. You never go. You never step in the same river twice. But people do. No, but then, but it's flowing water, so you never. So it's technically a different. If there's river. a river by your house, you've probably been in there more than twice. No, no, you step in. You know where I learned that from? Oh, Ancient oh. Joman proverb. Oh, really? Joman. Oh yeah. Well, then they were dumb. Yeah. Because it makes no sense. But anyway, um. Maybe not too. I want to make. I see. Sometimes I exaggerate, so I want to be. Be honest. I want to be completely honest. Be honest. Be accurate. A year before my dad died. Okay. I would have to say, my brother and I were in his house in Phoenix, Chandler, Arizona, and he was um, resorted. He's in a wheelchair now. He can't walk. Okay. Because he got hit by a truck, right, or something. <laughs> Didn't, isn't that, didn't no, something no, happen? No, 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 Stroke? Or didn't your grandmother get yeah, run over yeah. by a tank? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. my aunt did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you remember? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes I think about it like in the shower. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. My, my aunt got run over by a tank. <laughs> and died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what a weird thing to memorize. <laughs> wow. That's what I'll tell people, fun facts about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the most traumatic in my family's history, you know. Yeah. But um, a year before my dad died, um, we, my brother and I were at home, and um, we were talking about music. And he goes, "I don't like music, right?" <laughs> I go, "We're asking him questions about music. He doesn't know anything about it, right?" Hey, I go, "Have you ever heard a song?" And he goes, mm. "Well, sometimes I go out, you know, I see, I hear, the, I hear the, uh, you know, in the, you know, outside, you know, what I mean, in the mall when I'm in the mall, you know what I mean." Because one of his stores is in a mall, but he doesn't know what it is. Like he doesn't listen to it. Right. It, to him, it's just like birds chirping. Right. You know what I mean? Or like planes crashing. You know what I mean? Just, there's no difference. So what would he do for entertainment? So I, what, what my brother and guy goes, we want you to listen to this. So I put my little, you know what I mean, um, AirPods in his ear. Mm -hmm. We played him. It's the most like universally, you know, and it was uh, Tears in Heaven mm. by Eric Clapton. Right. And he's listening to it. And then tears 
starts coming down his face. And he goes, that's beautiful. It was unbelievable. There it is. 80 years. Never heard a song before. Right. It's like we're like running into a primal, a tribe in some island, right? <laughs> yeah. You know I mean? He has access to everything, but he doesn't, you know what I mean? He's, that's basically who he is. Did you tell him what it was about? I said, yeah, um, Eric Clapton get cocaine and kill this kid. <laughs> 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 that's not what happened. No. no Do you know was, actually what happened? I know what happened. Tell him what happened. So there was some sort of party or something at his house. Mm -hmm. This and is already wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there were pe oh, people there, though. This is there wrong. Were, Go ahead. I literally Googled it the other day. Okay. Right? I'm gonna t okay, go on. And then he fell off story. a window, out of a window. Okay. So the window part's right, dude. So no, <laughs> yeah. so, no what happened was... Well, let me... I, I, wait, wait, first of all... No, but let me tell you the story first so you could fact check it. Okay. So what happened was, is he he had left his baby, you know, the, the with their nanny, and the, they let the kid, like, used to run up, up and down the hallway, like, in his apartment building in New York, and they lived on whatever, the 14th or 15th floor, and the maintenance worker had left the window at the end of the hallway open, which was, like, a floor-to-ceiling window, because they were, like, cleaning it, uh -huh. and the kid thought he was running, he had always ran to that window and touched it and ran back, and he just ran through the window. Oh, wow, like, that's insane. Yeah. That's but, that's what it says online. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was wrong. Yeah, that's what, what it is. I I don't think I would I don't think I'd ever come back from that. No, he would came, you? Uh, no, I think and then but I think he did come back. I think he then just no, yeah, he wrote Tears of Heaven. <laughs> I'm right. just saying me. Yeah, I think I think he, <laughs> yeah 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 he he wanted, did proactive things. I'm just saying if it happened to me, I think that it would what best, best special. You would win best special. Or I I would come with a great special. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know, man. I, I, I think you would. It would take me years to even get back to any form of normalcy but what what would it take like if i killed one of your cats like right like how would what would be similar to that to you like who would i have to kill for you to feel that to kind of motivate you to to write the special of your life who would have to die right in front of you wow what a question thank you <laughs> it would have to be a four-man death a four-man yeah yeah okay for me to motivate me to make the best special in the world. Like what, the producers in here and Andrew? Everybody would have the whole best. No, 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 no. It would have to be my brother. Okay. My mother. Okay. Andrew. Okay. And Kalila. All four of them. Had dead. to die simultaneously at the same time for me to go, I, to feel completely lost. Right. Of like, oh, I'm going to kill myself or I would definitely not stay sober. No. It would be too traumatic for me. Right. And I would probably um, disappear for a very long time. I, I, I had to go through a bender. So I already thought about it. So I would liquefy. <laughs> I would liquefy. I would sell my house. Because you secretly hope it happened. No, I don't secretly hope that happened. I do the same thing. I hope. I don't everyone, secretly hope it happened. I hope everyone. I just have a. I, so I, just, I, can, I just have like an out. I know. But you, right? it's a fantasy. So I would sell my mom's house. Okay. Right. Maybe not sell mine. I would like try to lick, like I have some other real estate I would probably sell. Okay. I would get as much cash as I can, right? And I would probably get um I've never tried fentanyl. <laughs> okay. So I would just get like high grade fentanyl. Right. Um I would get um all the liquor in the world. Mm -hmm. We it's just the whole thing, shrooms, acid, everything, right? right? And I would probably go into like a place like Butte, Montana because I was just there. And so when I was walking around Butte, Montana, I was going, oh, that's where I'd die. Mm. Right. In my mind. You know what I mean? Right. Like I found spots, like, like there's a mine, like abandoned mines. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I was just being in an abandoned mine. Yeah. You know what I mean? With my overalls. Yeah. No shirt underneath it. No. Right. And, uh, I, and I know already that your nipples, you have strands of hair that come out of your nipples. Exactly, dude. Yes. And I would not shave them. No. They would be like out. Right. Just swirling around. Yes. In, in the wind. Yeah. Right. I would have a bandana yeah. on my head. Right. right. I'd put one of those football kind of black you know what i mean yeah that well you know how batman did like you know what yeah. I mean? yeah dark knight because yeah. he has to put the mask on so he wants this area to be right shadow. he wants this area to be dark right. right so i had no mask i just have that with the bandana yes right i would look really wicked awesome right and i would just party till i gave out i think so you wouldn't so you're saying you wouldn't write a special but then if i survive <laughs> that <laughs> <laughs> no, but then, but no, I'm just telling you what I would go through, right? Okay. And then it would be like, I think, uh, I wonder who would try to find me. A raccoon. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think, Andre, wait, wait. no, I wait, 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 wait. What I'm saying is, when I, I just said, who in my life would try to find me? And you're fucking saying a raccoon would? Yeah.
I think Andres would. I think Andres would be the one who would try to find you because he would see if you were still alive, so you could do the ad reads. <laughs> oh right, right. Yeah, he would say that they. Well, oh, this would be over if Andrew died, right? This would be over. Tiger Billy would be over. No, I don't know if it'd necessarily be over. I could, I could slide in for half the price. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we would just. Yeah, first. I could kind of. Do I don't it. think. I don't think I would be able. I'd to relocate. Do it, no issue. I don't think I would be able to do it. I think we, we, we you'd pick up the pieces. But anyway, um, so if your three children, your wife, all died, mm -hmm. right? Oh Is that too much? <laughs> Whatever, we're in it. <laughs> <laughs> we're in it, we're in it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And you're like, you know what I mean? They, they, them, uncle. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Came in, which is all, this is no, all. No, he's out, he's dead too. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's but out. he dies from other things. Right. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Philadelphia yeah. style. But yeah. anyway. um. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Lesions. You know what I'm saying? Hundred uh, yeah. percent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And so, um, what would you do? So I'm, I'm the, I'm the cop. You're on the road. Okay. Uh, hello, Mr. Stefano. Hi. Hi. How are you, officer? Excuse me. Hi. Uh, am I talking to Christopher? Yeah. Stefano. That's me. Yeah. How you doing? Are you uh, a cop? You're an officer. Well, I'm Mayor Sheriff Wilson. Hey, Sheriff Wilson. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. The Ozark County. Oh, I, yeah. I like I like it here. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You yeah. look. I didn't realize that uh, they would uh, that you were a sheriff in Ozark. I didn't think they, they did that here. I'm for calling you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is not a FaceTime. Oh, I thought that you were physically. <laughs> no, no, uh, no. Oh, if I physically saw you. Yeah, yeah. And I was oh, like, you want me to physically see you? Well, I just thought because like I was like, it would be weird if you're the sheriff of Ozark County and you're a small <laughs> Korean man. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 it yeah, yeah, worked, yeah, yeah. You know? But you would say that even if that was the case? Yeah, I think I would because I, 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 I have a nice rapport with the police. Yeah, but I'd be I'm like, why are you being that. racist? Well, I would just, I think I, it would just be my attempt because I'd be very nervous to be my attempt. Well, then my explanation that. would be during the Civil War, you know, then <laughs> some Chinese moved here. Right. To the Ozarks, right? 99.9% .9 of the people moved out, but my family were the ones that stayed. We owned a Chinese restaurant. Right. I mean, over, you know, hundreds of years. Right. And, you know, my family said, and I decided to break away from the Chinese food industry and become a sheriff. Yeah. What's the problem? I, I decide to break away from the Chinese Look at that. and become There I Korean. am, dude. They're, actually, yeah. See, that 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 looks like <laughs> that's not full Asian though. That's, that's half white. Dude, no, that's full that's Asian. That's Joman. No, that's not Joman, dude. That's Joman. No, he, the reason why he, he he has to look like that. Right. Because if he doesn't look like that and he looks like me, he's dead. Right. He has to like assimilate as much as he a can. A little bit. Yeah. He had to he, he push night, his eyes up. At night, he's just like this, with his fingers like this, trying to stretch them out. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You know, remember in um, uh, that movie, um, Clockwork, Orange. Clockwork Orange, the little mechanism. Yes. The metal, you know, little mechanism. That's what he does. That's what he does. Anyway, um, so anyway, hi. Hi. So, um, like I said, I'm Sergeant um, Sheriff. Sheriff Wilson. Wilson, that's right. From the Ozarks. From Ozarks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry to inform you that but your wife and your children died in a fire. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, what? <laughs> That's it? Where? No. Where? That, what? Damn. Where?